Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are having a good day. There is a lot happening in the world right now, whether it's political or a pandemic. So here's me sending out positivity. This week's recipe vlog is yet again another easy dish. I know I say that about almost all my videos, but this one only requires two major ingredients, and that's tomatoes and eggs. So let's get this started. The first thing I prepare are the tomatoes. I'm using two. I chop them up. Sometimes small, sometimes big, depending on how hangry I'm feeling. Size won't really matter anyway, since the tomatoes will all later turn into a paste. Once the tomatoes are chopped up, put aside. Next, we prepare the shallot. And when those are magically chopped, let's heat up the stove to medium heat. Add oil. Saute the shallots until they're soft and fragrant. Because we don't want a pale-looking dish, I'm adding a turmeric powder and, of course, some chili powder. Usually at this point, things start getting a little dry, and when that happens, I just add another drizzle of oil. This helps to move things along easily. Up next, it's time to add the tomatoes. Before adding any other ingredients, I need to make sure the tomatoes fully cook, and I add about three quarter cups of water, more or less, to prevent the dish from drying out. I like to press down on the big chunks of the tomatoes, then let it simmer for about five minutes. It's winter here in Vancouver, Canada, and we've been getting a lot of rain as usual, but we've also started to get hail and snow. It does make a cozy evening, and I really, really wish I had a fireplace. So five minutes have passed, and the tomatoes are looking as it should. I'm pressing down on the big chunks because the whole point is to turn it into a paste. I'm also adding a little bit of salt because we need to flavor it and balance out the acidity of the tomatoes. I've also added my favorite mushroom seasoning. This is optional. If you don't have this, feel free to use fish sauce or another alternative. Personally, I feel like this is an understated dish, a perfect example that sometimes less is more. I love eating this on days where I don't have much left in the fridge, but at the same time, I still want something satisfying. In Burmese, we call this "jeu kianjin ni jo," which basically translates to "fried tomatoes with egg." And speaking of eggs, I'm adding one egg. I made some room by pushing the tomatoes to the side a bit, as much as I could. I like to wait a little bit before I combine the egg and tomatoes. Then I swirl them together until both ingredients are mixed up. If you are not a fan of tomatoes, this might not be your cup of tea. But if you do enjoy the taste of tomato-based pasta sauce or even pizza sauce, then this recipe might be worth a try on your next cooking adventure. And the last step is have a final taste for salt, and that's it. That's how easy this was. Let me know if you end up trying this. Leave a comment or post a picture and tag me on the gram. And、this concludes the end of another recipe vlog. Thanks again for watching and for your ongoing support. Thank you so much for those keeping Burma in your thoughts and prayers. I'll be doing the same. And wherever you might be right now, I wish you an amazing rest of the week. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.